I always like to return to Ethiopia, a land with 107 million inhabitants. I first encountered this afflicted country in 1984, when more than a million people, mostly children, died of hunger. There I experienced poverty at close range. There I heard the silent crying of innocent children. But I've also experienced the joy of children. Children whose eyes shine brightly as their faces show the dignity and beauty of the children of God. Working with the young people needs a lot of energy and that energy as Salesians really we get it from living with Christ and the spirituality that comes from inside is that helps us in order to give something for them and to dedicate our time for the young people. So without spirituality and life with Christ, this is almost impossible. More than half of the children in Ethiopia cannot attend school because of poverty. In our schools, there are more than 13,000 pupils and students. We mostly take in orphans and children from large families. The best we can do to fight poverty is to give the young people the chance to get an education. With the Sponsorships Project, we give hope to many that they will be able to do the job they want to do in life, and we prevent children ending up on the street. I'm impressed with the joy the students show in class. Unfortunately, there are still thousands and thousands who don't yet have this opportunity. The teachers are always included in the education process and help students with their learning. This is reflected in the academic success of the students. I would like to express my gratitude for all the good things they are doing for the, people, for the poor people in my country. Finally, they got water. And I also am grateful for all the volunteers who come to support us in different ways. Uh, the building of the school is one of the important things which we have achieved in the last days with you and the agriculture activities. Uh, most of all, I would like to thank you for the sponsorship program for the young people to go to school and for many activities like food and many other things which you have done. And I would like to appeal once again for your support to the future. The children help their parents with work on the farm. If there is enough rain in the rainy season, that is from June to September, the fields bear good crops. They lead carefree and modest lives, living together in the midst of nature. They're content with little, with two handfuls of rice a day. During droughts, however, there is no harvest and millions of people are utterly dependent on charity. Despite their strained circumstances, the children don't lose their joy in life. Most of their free time they spend helping their parents with farm chores, or playing and socialising. Before the children go to school, they go to the nearby well to get water. In the afternoon, the women head off to the nearby river to wash their own and their family's clothes. There they meet up with other women and chat together. Many, however, don't have access to clean water.
Mostly the water is murky and dirty, which leads to infections in the children. Diarrhea and cholera are the most frequent cause of children's death. On the feast of Mother Mary, many made pilgrimage to her shrine. They came barefoot with bundles in their arms, children, teenagers and adults. Every one of them wanted to secure a place close to the statues of Mother Mary. They came with their worries and their requests and to express their gratitude. During Mass they sang and clapped and raised their hands in praise of God. Their faces radiated with joy as they let each other know that it's beautiful to be part of a community that knows that life is worth living. I'm sure that the message of Saint John Bosco to live with and for the young here in Ethiopia is more relevant today than it has ever been. When I am with them and disregard hunger and other diseases, I feel timeless. I'm thankful to God for the gift of life. With all my soul I give myself to the children's play and to the wonder that I too can be part of this devotion and acceptance. Thank <laughs> you.